G'day all, Wayne here, Wombat Models, welcome back. Today, gonna have a bit of a bench update and a sneak peek at some upcoming projects. Let's have a look. Okay, so on the bench, the first project that I have on the go is a 72nd scale Hasegawa uh, Harrier GR3. Uh, it's being done up in a what if uh, model scheme uh, based on this little lizard. Uh, so I've still got a little bit of painting to go, but uh, up surfaces are mottled brown, under surfaces are grey. Still got to fit out uh, all the ordnance and stuff. Uh, markings will come from uh, Ronan Deckel sets. Uh, picked up a couple of uh, RAAF sets, so FA-18 Hornet data set. Uh, 75 Squadron FA-18B Hornet and 75 Squadron F-35A Lightning II rollout scheme, so I'll be using bits and pieces from the markings there to mark up my Harrier. Next project, Revell 124th Shelby Cobra 427SC. Uh, so this body had already been painted up. Uh, I wasn't too happy with the uh, paint scheme that I had on there, uh, so I have stripped the paint back and we'll be redoing that. Uh, chassis is all together, I've still got to paint up the engine, put that in, but that's just done in black. Interior is in black, and the body uh, will be all over blue with green and yellow stripes. So for the paints, I'm using uh, Outlaw Paints uh, rail colours. So the main body of the blue will be the VR Diesel Blue. Uh, the green stripes will be the NSW GR3813 Green, and I've still got to pick up some yellow there. So I'm looking forward to trying out those Outlaw Paints. And last active build we've got on the bench at the moment is Italeri's uh, 172nd Wessex UH5. Uh, comes out of the Falklands War 30th Anniversary set. So I've just got this one taped up. The interior has been mostly painted up. Uh, just a few bits and pieces to go in the cockpit. Uh, but yeah, just got it taped up just to see how it fits together. And just see if there's anything there. But uh, that'll be coming along soon as well. Uh, oh. Also on the bench, uh, I picked up a new airbrush. So I have been using uh, the Haseng HS80. Uh, that's been my everyday airbrush for quite a while. Uh, it's got a 0.3 mil needle. Uh, decided I needed to go for a couple of other airbrushes. So I picked up not long ago the SMS Dragon Air Blue, which is a 0.2 mil needle. Uh, so that'll be used for all my fine detail work. And I decided to pick up a, another airbrush uh, so I could run one with a 0.5mm needle just for general work. So I picked up online uh, this little kit which is the Voilamart AB180. Uh, comes with a 0 0.2, 0 0.3 and 0.5 uh, needle sets. Uh, I will fit that one out as I said with the 0.5 so that will become uh, just the general airbrush as I said for uh, priming and various other bits and pieces. And I've been doing a little bit of reading. Uh, so at the moment I've got a couple of books by Kristen Alexander. So first up is uh, Clive Caldwell Air Ace. So it covers off uh, Caldwell's career. And the second one, Jack Davenport, Bowfighter Leader. So again, covers off his career following uh, Bowfighters. And now I'll have a bit of a look at a uh, long-term project uh, I've got planned. So I picked up the 348th scale aircraft from Tamiya that I'm going to be doing up as aircraft of the 352nd fighter group, the Blue Nose Bastards of Bodney. So 352nd originally flew the P-47D Thunderbolt. Uh, so I've got that Tamiya kit there that we'll do up. And after the uh, P-47 they transitioned into the P-51B. And then following the P-51B they transitioned into the D model Mustang. So those three kits will be made up one aircraft for each of the three squadrons from the 352nd fighter group. And finally we'll have a look at a couple of uh, projects I've got planned for the future. So first up is Trumpeter's ASLEC PC Phase 3. Uh, so I'll be doing that up uh, obviously as an Aussie vehicle using the SMS Auscam paints. Then following on from that one I've got uh, Fujimi's uh, Supermarine Spitfire Mark V versus the Focke-Wulf FW190A6-9, so that's from the Dogfight series. Uh, I'll be doing that up. I've got a little project, uh, it's going to be called the Race for Air Superiority, so I'll bring that one to you uh, at some point. 
Then we also have three more to be a 135th kit. So I've got the old original M1 Abrams. Uh, so I'll be doing that. The M2 Bradley. And the Hummer. Uh, I'll be doing them up in a bit of a what-if scheme from the 11th Armoured Cavalry Regiment. Uh, they'll be done up in US Murdoch Red Desert scheme. Uh, so I'll be using the SMS paints there. So you can see that. So we've got uh, PL224 US Earth Red. PL225 US Earth Yellow. PL226 US Sand Brown. And then PL33 Camo Black. So the Murdoch scheme for the Red Desert was made up of those four main colours. And lastly, also managed to pick up to me as Boat and Fighter Mark VI. Uh, now I'll be doing this up as a 30 Squadron RAAF uh, bird, so it'll be Alpha 19-111, eat them alive. Uh, flown by Flight Sergeant William Cosgrove with Navigator Flight Sergeant Bernard Le Griffin. Uh, so that'll be in the uh, Temperate Sea Scheme used in the Bougainville area. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Now, just before I go, I'd like to say, look, I'm growing a mo for Movember. Now, Movember aims to help raise funds and recognition around men's health issues. Now, globally, more than 1.4 million men were diagnosed with prostate cancer in 2020. On average, one man dies by suicide every minute of every day. And testicular cancer is the number one cancer diagnosed among young guys. Make a donation to help fund life-changing mental health programs, groundbreaking research, and scientific breakthroughs for cancer treatments. If you want to donate, you can go to my MoSpace, the link will be below in the description, or you can scan the QR code which you'll have on screen. Please help make a difference. Thanks for watching.